do you know that EDS, the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes, affect nearly every part of the body, yet this is one of the most misunderstood diagnoses out there? In this video, I'll explain what the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are, the key signs and symptoms of this disorder, how they affect daily life. Whether you are a newly diagnosed person with EDS or you're caring for someone who has it, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Claire Francomano, and I'm a medical geneticist specializing in the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes and other hereditary disorders of connective tissue for over 40 years. I hope you'll stick around to learn how EDS might explain some symptoms you've been struggling to understand. So what is EDS? The Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are a group of hereditary disorders of connective tissue that predominantly affect collagen and other other important molecules of the connective tissue. And the connective tissue literally holds our body together. And when it is faulty, it impacts the joints, the skin, and even the internal organs. So the major symptoms of the Ehlers-Danlos syndrome are joint hypermobility, and the joints may be unstable and prone to subluxations and dislocations. The skin tends to be very soft and a little bit stretchy and in some cases very stretchy and it may be fragile and easily prone to injury. And then there are multiple complications that people who live with these diagnoses experience. They may have difficulty when they go from lying down to sitting up or standing and getting woozy or dizzy. We call this symptom orthostatic intolerance. They may live with chronic pain. There are many GI, gastrointestinal, issues and neurologic complications that people who live with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome also experience. Literally, these syndromes affect the whole body. And because of that, it may be difficult to diagnose because you've got one symptom going on here and another symptom going on here, and it's difficult to put the whole situation together. I've often heard it said, if you can't connect the issues, think connective tissues. And so if you're living with many, many different symptoms involving many different organs and different parts of the body, it's very possible that the Ehlers-Danlos syndrome may underlie all of it. Now, why is this condition so misunderstood? I think in part it is because the symptoms can be so diverse, involving so many different organ systems and so complex. There's also a lack of knowledge among many healthcare professionals about the Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, although I will say this seems to be improving with the efforts of the Ehlers-Danlos Society over the last 10 years. I think there is more knowledge out there in the community about EDS. But the consequences of this long journey to diagnosis can be really profound because many patients are often told their symptoms are all in their head, and this can lead to years of frustration. So if this sounds familiar, just know that you are not alone, and there really is hope out there because there are many things that can be done to help improve the multiple symptoms of people living with EDS. There are lifestyle modifications that can help quite a bit. One of the things we know is really important is pacing. So recognizing what your limitations are and not pushing beyond those, making sure if you know that you can really only do one or two major things in a day, you only schedule one or two major things for the day. We know that low impact activity, low impact exercise is very important for people with joint hypermobility to tone and strengthen in the muscles and make sure that the muscles are able to help better support those lax joints. There may be times when bracing is very helpful if you're doing a lot of walking, for example, and there's a knee that's a little wonky. You know, you may need some support for that knee and that can help to accomplish things that you might not 
be able to do otherwise. Compression garments, for example, may be very, very helpful for the orthostatic intolerance that we see in many people with EDS. And it is really important to recognize because the symptoms involve multiple organ systems, a multidisciplinary team is necessary to optimize care for people living with EDS. And remember, the goal for living with EDS is we're shooting for progress, not perfection. So if you can make progress on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, then you're really accomplishing something. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for continued uh, updates on EDS-related insights. And and please comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to know what your top EDS question is so I can try to address it in a future video. Also, please check the links below for resources, including a guide on managing pain in EDS and finding supportive devices. Thanks for joining me today, and I wish you the very best on your journey.